Hello everyone and welcome back to Build HMS Victory. Okay, so in today's video, I finally get around to actually uh, trying to get this uh, gallery all completed. Like I say, it's been 18 months, so I actually worked on this. And like I say, I've been, obviously, people know before, I've been working with, obviously, uh, Woolies Model Works. It's just, just a case of just finally getting around to the right time to actually get all this fitted. So like I say, so in today's video, as you can clearly see, I've had to start to, uh, obviously, reshape some of my, obviously, gallery, yeah. Uh, capping around the gallery just to make it fit some of these obviously these parts that we get from the deluxe uh, gallery enhancement kit and like i said i've also had to cut and splice a couple of these baluster rails as well because obviously i was working with the original Giagostini face plate that we got and fitted oh yeah i mean we're coming back up for two years now so like i say it's, it's caused a few little obviously little issues that i've had to kind of obviously for the parts you get from this deluxe uh, enhancement kit and what is one works so obviously some of the parts i'm gonna have to be obviously are fabricated to actually fit okay so i was working with this uh this temp wooden template for the gallery you get with this uh gallery enhancement kit i would have no problems at all because they're all custom fit to design and obviously all fit on this really nice but because i was working with the original diagostini one and i didn't want to go to all the the you know, in the time and the effort to kind of completely take away all my gallery i just had to make all my parts just a little bit more custom like i said i was hoping to try and get this uh gallery video all complete in one video today but i'm still actually waiting for some of this uh, this yellow ochre to turn up so like i say i've got to, oh, these all been nicely primed now i've still got to go around and obviously airbrush these so like i say i'm probably waiting and probably another week so i kind of thought i've kind of got this video in quite a natural progression where it could be ended and then obviously once the yellow ochre comes i'll spray all these and we'll do it in another part so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again soon okay so in today's video i'm going to try and completely get all this gallery finished so i've not touched it around about 18 months and like i say i've never happy with the the parts that came in the kit so like i say now i've got this uh, gallery enhancement kit i'm going to uh, obviously use all these and i'll show you a bit more that i'm going to build but the first thing i want to do before i kind of like i start adding these baluster rails is i just wanted to make sure that like there's no anything structural that you need to do it first and i like say the first part we get this uh, photo edge set that came as part of the uh, gallery kit from woolies model works and this is obviously all photo away so i'm just going to spray this and fit this later but what i've kind of noticed when i started to obviously yeah uh, i you can see in the video the top uh the top of mine was very like very flat no natural curve and i didn't actually notice that until i put this top part on which obviously is uh, curve section and that's when i realized mine were really flat so i've already done it on the uh on the starboard side and i'm going to do it on this uh, port side now i'm just going to mark it kind of just roughly following I like to say, I'll just tape this on. I'm just going to roughly follow this curve just so I can kind of chisel this away or just cut it away. Does someone get a little bit more of a natural, natural curve? Like I said, this one's been just shaped with my craft knife, and all I need to do now is just going to sand it back. Same again, all I'm going to do is just going to remove this now, just so it gives me a rough idea. Just how much I need to take away. I might say, it's not going to be a lot. It's just enough that it's obviously just going to improve the overall appearance of this gallery. So I say I'm just using my craft knife. That's quite difficult for you to see this section. All I'm going to do is just cut a bit away of this. Okay, so that's just started off this uh, this curve. So I'll put this part back on. And it's just going to naturally just curve better across this top timber. So all I need now is just obviously just give it a, a nice sand and I smooth off the edges just so it forms this curve better. And I'd say this would be ideal that I did it kind of way back before any of these constructions actually uh, was carried on. But this is actually the, the original piece that came from the Diagostini kit. which actually using this 
this complete deluxe gallery enhancement kit you might actually get a really accurate obviously a stern timber and like i said if you bring that onto where you can really see the uh, the actual difference like i said i can't make mine exactly like this because i'll have to retake the entire gallery away so all i'm going to try and do is just make it the best i can the best i can and which is something like that like I say if I had the time and the effort I really would say I'd I'd kind of remove all this gallery and I'd completely go back to the beginning and actually use this more accurate template because <laughs> with this template again you get this really nice photo etch window set and like I say I just think it would look a uh, hundred times obviously better than the one that I've kind of using that kind of came originally with the kit but like I say at the minute this it's a lot a lot of work I don't really want to have to take the entire gallery off and start again but like I say it probably will look 100 times better using this uh, gallery enhancement kit but like I say I'm just going to try and try his best and see what we can kind of do like I said the good thing about these parts is they obviously they are flexible so if you're using this original gallery timber you have got some play where you can obviously make these fit a little bit better but as you can see they are actually made to measure and fit perfectly on this timber rather than obviously having to uh, hack about a bit and like I'm gonna have to mine, but I'm still gonna have to make it fit really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna smooth this a bit more and just make it curve. Okay, so after sanding and fighting this for five minutes, I'm just going to bring this part back across and just kind of see, like I say, it's, it was not perfect because that should be a lot, a lot higher. But I can just slightly bend mine down to make that fit. I'm going to be, that's going to be fitting quite nice like that. It's going to look, it's going to look okay. Let's say don't, it doesn't look flat anymore like it did before. So that part is, uh, is fine. Just needs going over some fine sandpaper. And that'll fit nice when it's obviously all glued on. So I just want to check the fit for this obviously this curved scroll. Like I say, it's going to be slightly overlong. But I just want to check the actual the curves, and them curves are going to fit really nice. Like I say, this template from the original kit is obviously longer than the kit that came from this. Like I say, this this part would fit absolutely perfect on this. Uh, template kit but like I say for mine it's gonna have to be a little bit fabricated and kind of made to fit like I say it fits perfectly like that fit nice that's why that's why obviously when I kind of spoke to Neil at Woody's Model Works he actually supplied me with two so I can kind of join them up a little bit just to make mine fit but like I say by the time I finish you won't know it's any difference okay so the next thing I need to work on is these decorative uh, banister rails and like I say you get two in the kit you get the one that's obviously designed to fit on the obviously the bottom layer and then you get the one that separates the two uh, the two decks but like I said before it clearly fits absolutely perfect for this template well, of course mine is the original Diagostini kit I've kind of got to make mine obviously just uh, fit a little bit a little bit nicer like I say, so for this top one that fits there, it's actually a little bit too short. So I say, I mean, Neil, I spoke to Neil at Woody's Model Works, and he said he'd kind of obviously make them all, design them to uh, 
to fit. If I just gave him a measurements, he'd, he'd make them designed to fit obviously a help whatever size I'd got. But obviously because I'm a model maker, I said I'll just kind of use the parts I've got and I'll just make them fit. So, but what I'm designing to do is obviously it's pretty much exactly the same. So I'm just going to take this this bottom rail that's designed just to fit there. And I'm actually just going to bring it across and I can just cut it down so it just slightly fits this top section more. So all I really need to do is just kind of chop off this corner section and then I need to just remove about two of the ballast rails on the uh, the port side and that's going to fit really nice. So I'll have to do that now. So I say all I'm doing on this, this top one is just following the angle just taking off this little scroll and I'm just going to turn it around and I'm just going to take it back and cut off just two banister rails and that just fits like that. So I'm going to bring the victory back across and hopefully that should fit kind of nice. Like I say it's always it's always nice to kind of I mean cut it again the second time like I say if I cut it too short and obviously I've got to order a new one. So like I said, that's just saying to me that I just need to remove one more baluster rail and that's just going to fit really nice for this top, top scroll baluster rails. Back on the cutting desk, just following the angle of this scroll, I'm just going to cut off one more. So bring that across and now that should fit really nice which it does like I say that's all that's going to need doing is a little spacer between each section of these window ledges and that's going to really feel fit nice okay so I'll put that to one side okay so like I said I'm going to move on to this bottom one and like I say this is actually going to be uh, too short this time as you can see we're clearly around about about seven or eight ballast rails too short like I say it did say it, it, it kind of make a new one custom fit one to fit mine but like i said i don't want to put me into the trouble when i can just quite easily just make one myself so what i want to do first i just want to find out the uh obviously the center center line for this gallery window so i'm just going to get a little bit of masking tape i'm just going to put it under this bottom trim i'm just going to put it on there so what I'm going to do is going to put my ruler just following this edge and then just mark just down there either side. Now I'm just going to get my ruler between the two points. So I've got 130. And that gives me 130, so all I need to do is just draw myself center line at 65. Okay, so I'm just there, uh, got my phone up, and I'm just looking exactly where this uh, banister rail finishes on this uh, corner at the uh, the gallery i'll put the picture on screen so you can kind of see what i'm looking at but i just want to know exactly where this like this scroll finishes okay so when that picture i've been looking at this curvature scroll right at the end it really finishes in line pretty much with this last corner of the timber so that's where i want to position this one and then i was going to go all the way across and now what i can see is I can see exactly where this center line is between this uh, baluster rail. So now I can just put a pencil mark either side. And I know exactly where I can cut this. Okay, so it's like, so looking for a pencil line that's marked, line up with the cutter. I'm just gonna cut that directly in half. As you can tell where I've cut that, that's actually the center line for the gallery. But as you can put two parts together, it's going to be uh, obviously way too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the process with the second one. So obviously then we can then join these two parts together. Okay, so now I've cut the, uh, the second one to obviously the length as well. We now get two parts that we can join together to make one complete baluster rail as you can see you barely even know it's been cut and uh, spliced together and that's just kind of like say saved 
near a lot of time just custom making me about this real bit. pretty much a cut and a, a glued together okay so what i'm going to do now is actually just going to join these with a little bit of super glue just join these two parts together then i'm going to get my older parts that we need to get build up this gallery kit it's going to add a little bit of primer to them as simple as that okay so this is all the uh, decorative parts that we get for this uh, gallery kit and like i said i just put them all on cocktail sticks and put them in a little uh, polystyrene little tree i was going to take these outside i'm just going to give them all a coat and this obviously is tamiya surface primer that's pretty much more all these ones with this uh, the victory sign as well to get all these a coat of this uh, this primer you know, this four way set as well. I'll leave them on the sprue and just paint them directly on the, uh, the sprue. And then these are parts that I just cut down as well. I'm just going to get these a coat of primer. Like I say, I'm not going to hand paint these just because it's so quite fine between the details. There's, there's barely a millimeter between the ballast rails, and I don't want to obviously just clog them up with paint. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to airbrush these just for the using the Admiralty, uh, Admiralty paints range of this yellow ochre. And like I say, you've seen me airbrush lots of time in this build, so I won't be showing you that process, but like I say, you can see that in many videos. So I'm gonna get all these undercoated and obviously uh, spray with a top coat, and then we'll come back.